Today we will see about nanomaterials, what are uh, nanomaterials and uh, the different types of uh, nanomaterials. Okay, the word nano comes from this uh, from Greek, so uh, it's one billion. Uh, it means nano is it is uh, dwarf in, uh, in their meaning. So one nanometer is approximately 10 raised to minus nine meter, which is equal to 0 0.000000001 uh, meter. So uh, when we want to see uh, this nanometer in our day to day life, and, uh, one atom is uh, approximately this my size, one times 10 raised to minus 10 meter. The molecules may be around one nanometer, DNA around this one, and virus, and so on. It's approximately 100 nanometer. And bacteria is within uh, micrometer uh, range. Uh, therefore, uh, we know one centimeter. Uh, human ear is nearly uh, this one. So, uh, dividing this, and you get the range of uh, nanometer. So, whenever you say nanomaterials, uh, nanomaterials can be defined as a material processing minimum one external dimension measuring up to uh, one up to 100 nanometer um, uh, this may not be true for other fields for example in agriculture they may say that a nano nanomaterials for them may be from one up to 200 uh, nanometer there is some debate uh, between different uh, fields but in science in most cases uh, uh, nanomaterials uh, for example in chemistry and in uh, physics biology and some engineering they consider nanomaterials within the range of one up to 100 uh, nanometer so the, uh, this can be observed in nanotubes and and so on so types of nanomaterials based on their uh, dimension divide them into 0d 1d 2d and 3d so it's point like particle uh, as you can see here it's considered to be more equal under uh, 0d the other one 1d are considered to be fiber like this one nanofibers nanotubes they are considered to be 1d one dimension so as we know that as we already stated that one of their dimension among the three dimension should be in the range of one to one hundred nanometers so as you can see here in the nanometer we have one d that's why one nanometer range one of their dimension is in nanometer range that's why it's considered to be in one d so in 2d 2d two of their dimension is included under uh, nanometer range nano shift is considered to be two dimensional the other one is three dimensional uh, architecture okay so application of nanomaterials uh, nanomaterials used uh, uh, in different areas uh, and it can be used in different industries it improves the production it improves the quality uh, of the materials and it also improves the uh, uh, use of raw materials the uh, management of raw materials so with small um, or small uh, quantity of raw materials you can uh, produce a large amount of product so for medicine for example we can use nanomaterials for killing of bacteria killing of bacteria either gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria can be killed by nanomaterials nanopowders have this application it's already done in different uh, researches or it's already proved in different research how these nanomaterials are able to kill those uh, bacteria. So in recent days, those bacteria which are which are <coughs> uh, unable to be killed by the, those medicine, they can be killed by those nanomaterials. So it's different from the uh, bacteria by themselves adapt to different uh, medicine, but these nanomaterials cannot be adopted by them. They have the ability to penetrate the cell wall and to inter and interrupt the uh, uh, multiplication of the bacteria. Okay, so uh, it can also be used in for electronics. Uh, in recent days, they become smaller, very small, smarter, and better. 
for example, in typical transistor was 130 to 250 nanometer in size. The transistor, the size of transistor is around this nanometer. But in 2014, Intel created a 40 nanometer transistor. Then IBM created a 7 nanometer transistor in 2015. And then Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory it, uh, demonstrated a one nanometer transistor. As you can see here, it becomes smaller and smaller thanks to the production of these nanomaterials in uh, the, the technology which is called nanotechnology. They become smaller and smaller and they become faster and, and better transistor. So nanomaterials can also be used for agricultural purpose. It improves the, product, the productivity and the soil fertility and it's it also helps us to control the growth of the plants okay these are some of the application of nanomaterials and we will continue from this in the next session